I'm going to, um, if I want to read this movie in, I'm going to have to hit that message read dot read dozer dot movie. So if I hold the command key on my Mac or control on my PC, hit that message that says dozer dot movie um, dot mov, and then click this toggle here to start the Metro. We should in, in, uh, be seeing this playback in our JIT dot window. We can double click if it's behind things and there's the video playing back this is the thing we're going to control the speed of so let's we can just keep that playing if we like alright so to measure the amplitude of the um, sound that's being played in this groove tilde I'm going to make a new object again the N key should do that a new object which is going to be called AVG tilde um, Average, I mean, this is an AVG tilde, that's an abbreviation of average. Uh, we can connect, and to get the average of a signal, so first thing we want is the left outlet of our groove tilde to go into the AVG tilde. <clears throat> that's the signal we're going to be measuring. And we're going to want, and it will output the average every time it gets a bang. So I'm going to connect the outlet of my metro to the inlet of the average. Um, we can have a look at what it's doing by connecting up a flow num, which we could either get from the metro, or I think an F on our keyboard brings up a flow num, yes, so F for flow num, and connecting that to the, out to the, uh, connecting the AVG tilde to the um, flow num. Now if I start my DAC again, uh, let's assume we've clicked that already, we should be seeing the, <coughs> we should be seeing the um, average amplitude in here. Uh, the thing I'm going to use to uh, zoom in on this QT.movie is an object, so we'll make a new object. This object is called JIT.ROTA, uh, which is for rotating and zooming and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, JIT.ROTA, we can create that object. Um, there's a few things I'm going to want to use in it, um, which are in a help patch. So again, if I hold the Alt I mean the option key on my Mac or alt key on your PC. I'm going to bring up the help patch which looks like that. <clears throat> I'm going to unlock this. You can see some of this stuff was hidden before. Um, and a few things I'm going to want to take from this. I'm going to take drag over that. Um, the load bang and this, op this combination here with the anchor. And then if I keep the shift key on the keyboard held down, I can, can I can select more things. So holding, keeping shift down, keeping shift down to connect to select this zoom jive over here, and then I'll also um, while I'm at it select the object itself. And so I've select the JIT dot rotor, the um, anchor stuff. This is to tell it where the center of the image is or what to um, anchor on the image and this zoom stuff with the flow nums and everything. That's all good, so if I hit Command C on my keyboard um, for copy, uh, that's Control C if you're on a, on a PC to copy that stuff, I'll close the help patch, go back to my patch when I hit Command V, um, assuming nothing is selected, um, as soon as I hit Command V all of this stuff gets um, pasted into the patch that's control V for paste on a PC which you probably already know anyway alright so I've got a bunch of stuff here that I just copied from the help patch I could uh, make this a little less huge by um, selecting that and dragging that over now I'm going to want to put this JIT.rotor in line with this in between the JIT.QT.movie and the JIT.window. First thing I could do is select that JIT.rotor and hit delete because I've got one right here. Then I can also delete this patch cord running between the JIT.movie and the JIT.window. Um, I'm going to need a little more space over here so I'll drag all that stuff over. I'll take this combination that I copied from the help patch and stick it down here. I'll connect up the outlet of my JIT.QT.movie to the inlet of the JIT.rotor, left outlet of the JIT.QT.movie, and the left outlet of that JIT.rotor into the JIT.window.
So assuming you want to zoom in on this, there's one more thing we want to connect, which is the outlet of this AVG tilde into this flow num over here, which controls the zoom in the X and Y. So I'm going to connect that up. This is going to start looking a little ugly, but that's OK. Um, now, if everything's according, going according to plan, when I start up my DAC, and I'm assuming this is already, sorry, and assuming this is already um, playing back the QuickTime movie, when we look at the um, JIT dot window, we should be seeing this zooming in and out. Uh, I can't really have both up at once, but. So to make this look a little better, one thing we might want to do is to hit these message boxes on the um, to anchor the uh, video to the center of the I image. Um, this is this load bang here loads up, um, outputs a bang when the patcher loads. But since this patcher was already open or nothing output when we just copied and pasted that, we can click these message boxes to make that anchor work. This time, when we turn this on and look at the JIT belt window, it's now zooming in and out on the center. The only thing we might want, just to make this thing look even more groovy, is to make this range coming from AVG tilted a little bit more extreme. Um, for a start, maybe I'll just uh, move this over so it doesn't look, well, actually, can't make it look that much less ugly, so I'll leave it where it is. I'm going to multi-scale this, uh, this output here of AVG tilde by some amount. Uh, again, we can use the object called scale, so I can hit N for new object, scale, input range, which for um, audio amplitude would be 0 to 1, and then we can make an output range of something just more extreme, like um, 0 to 20. Um, connecting the outlet of the AVG tilde, I'll disconnect this patch cord here first, the one going to the um, directly into the zoom values. I'll connect the outlet of this AVG tilde into the left inlet of the scale tilde of the scale, um, and the outlet of the scale into the one at that first flow num on the zoom. Now, when I hit the uh, easy DAC to start this thing up again, we should. Be we should be getting more extreme ranges of scale. Yay. So there's uh, something, that maybe you can read your own movies in there. Uh, have fun with that, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.